Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards and today we're taking a look at a keyboard that I've been waiting for for a little while. Um, this keyboard was sent out to me, or I should say these keyboards were sent out to me by Key Monkey at a very discounted rate. Thanks to Key Monkey for sending these out to me. Now, when I first saw these, I was like, what? $59 for an aluminum keyboard? Bare bone? You got to be kidding me. Um, after I looked into it a little bit, I saw, oh, okay, they're WeCav. Um, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, WeCav, um, which appears to be an OEM manufacturer because they're the ones behind the uh, Warmir SK71, um, which is a great kit. So I'm expecting great things from this. And everybody that has purchased it on Budget Keeps has also shared that they're quite enjoying it and running it as a daily driver. So without further ado, here is the WK-H70 mechanical keyboard. I uh, chose one in black and one in white because why not? I actually am going to do different switches and caps on each so I don't have to go back and forth on one single one and get, get some sound tests from both stock. Well, these are bare bone, but stock with loaded switches and keycaps and see what we get. We're dealing with a 75% aluminum bare bone kit. Like I said, I think I want to say that Keep Monkey has has them on sale now for like $54 or $55. Uh, they have been running sales on these and they've been always under $60. So especially with the fact that I just uh, recently reviewed the um, Drops new CSTM 80, which was $99 for a polycarbonate and not even a complete keyboard. It doesn't have the top shroud. It's literally half of a keyboard. Um, so seeing this for that price, huge difference. So let's go ahead. I'm going to put one aside for right now so that I can focus on one and then we'll build both of them out and do some sound tests. Firstly, we see that we have a ha, an aviator key. $59. Ah, we got a cute keep monkey. Oh, no, it's not a sticker. It's like a business card. I like it. All right, so we have a two-tone aviator cable. That's pretty cool. All right, along with the cable, which, like I said, I don't know if it comes with this one or not. We got your standard wire keycap and switch puller, and we have an Allen wrench. And then we have a little handy dandy instruction manual that has been opened up. But, so yeah, we're dealing with a TKL with a knob. It is USB 2. It has a ARM processor with 48 megahertz operating frequency and a 64K ROM programming space. All right, I'll have to uh, pop the software in. I, it, the only thing that could make this better if it was via QMK, but obviously the price would go up at that point, I would believe. We have a nice dust cover that comes for the keyboard. I always got to appreciate that, especially when it's molded specifically for this keyboard, because a lot of people, you know, use these in their office, and when it's not being used, might as well cover it up. It will keep it a lot cleaner, and you will have to clean it a lot less often, because, I mean guys don't clean your keyboards you really should <laughs> if you haven't take a couple of keys off and take a look at it you'll see what I mean and here is the WK 870 in a it, it it's white but it's a cream white it's um it almost looks like a uh, like the old school the, the, the beige white we do have a weight on here that is protected. Uh, could be brushed aluminum, but I'm not sure. At this price to get a weight? <laughs> Come on. And here it is. I mean, this is just, this is lovely. This is really nice looking. We've got, all right, I'm not gonna say it, but it looks like a game console's little, uh, if you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, we got a square, an X, a circle, and a triangle. But this is a lovely TKL. Obviously, we're missing the uh, the top over here. I wonder if that's a magnetic badge. It probably isn't, but let me see. No, oh, does not appear to be magnetic. It's all good. The knob has a magnetic outside. Feels like aluminum, but it's your standard D knob. 
up. Oh, that sounds nice. So we have a PC plate. We have stabilizers that are already included. I These are the, um, I want to call them the Holy Panda stabilizers. I've seen them before. And oh, they're actually pretty well attached. We have south face and PCB. We have foam between the plate and the PCB. And we definitely have some foam below. And it kind of sounds like we have the um, PET mod under there, but I'm not sure. I'm taking a look at the back. I got to say, I love that. That's a little badge around the connector. And I don't think that's going to interfere with many connect many uh, cables at all because it's barely going down, I'd say about three millimeters perhaps. But this is uh, just lovely. It does uh, say customized keyboard there at the bottom i i gotta say this is uh this is a lovely keyboard and like i said we're doing stock today but i'm definitely planning to come back to this and open it up and see what we can do but i'm gonna guess this is gonna sound pretty good just off my initial impressions especially the sound that i get from the knob click it's that nice soft creamy pop so yeah the stabilizers are good pc plate plenty of foam definitely has flex oh that's gonna be a that's gonna be quite a soft typing feel let me tell you hmm now i'm almost rethinking my switch choice but i think i'll i'll stay with what i originally chose let's go ahead and take a look at the black real quick i'll skip all the innards and just bring out the keyboard and here is the black one it's actually got a bit of sparkles on the finish and it's not overwhelming i actually kind of like it it makes it pop and the metal accents are like a gold finish which is really nice i gotta say and that customized keyboard is literally almost impossible to see it's harder to see on the the white or the i don't know if this would be cream white because it just it's that just slightly off white that gives me that 51 to 50 feel but i've got to say these are some solid keyboards wow yeah i mean i i hate to keep bringing it up but i got the drop cstm 80 uh the tkl they released not too long ago and 99 dollars for half of a keyboard because you don't get a top frame it looks very unfinished it's not like okay it's a floating style it looks cool it can be used that way no it's got exposed magnets and screws it just doesn't look it doesn't look good it looks unfinished it looks like hey you're missing part of your keyboard but this for 40 dollars less 45 if it's on sale like i said for 55 i mean it's just i i i don't know what to say these keyboards are just lovely let me see what they come in weighing at so 1630 grams as a bare bone that's uh that's pretty good it feels just right not too heavy like uh i'm gonna hurt myself but i can pick it up with one hand and the weight on this one is gold which i mean it's just it's lovely I, i've got to say that's really really nice love the look of these keyboards i'm glad i waited they had a lavender one or purple in stock at first but i've got a few of those and i don't have too many keycaps that work with it but this off-white and uh, this black it just it just works in my opinion so i'm glad that i waited um to uh ask them for a sample because i had a few keyboards backed up and i was sick for a little while so I kind of just let it go then when i saw they were in stock i was like all right i gotta pick these up so i i reached out to them and uh, they provided me like i said a significant discount on these so um let's go ahead and build these up i'm, I'm tempted to get in there but i just today i just want to do the stock sound test and then come back and i'm going to open them up and i want to mod them differently so that we can hear what they sound like with different mods right you know side by side so let's go ahead and load up the black one first huh so for the black one i've got i know a bag of keycaps these are uh, pbt's uh, 
they're gentlemen keycaps. They're just uh, they're die sub, so you can barely see the legend on there. These are my first set of these. Um, they were cheaper with the bag, so I went ahead and went with the bag. I I always throw these into uh, one of the Kitco containers anyway afterwards. So I'm gonna load these up on here now for switches. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with some U4TX. Uh, this is a switch from uh, Gazoo. It's a, I don't think I've done a review on these yet. I really enjoy these switches. They're, uh, they, they basically, they, they're silenced, but only on one stroke. I think on the down stroke, no, top, the top pop. It has a very similar feel as topper. Now granted, I only have one topper keyboard, so just my experience. It, it's as close as possible as I've experienced anyway to a topper switch. Now this is the RGB version and it's the um, 65 gram, yep, 65 gram. And I like these because I think they tend to lean on the deeper end and I'm trying to think, I think I've only used them in plastic keyboards before. So personally, I think this might be the first time that I've tried it in a aluminum kit. So let me go ahead and load these up and see what we got. A little technical difficulty while recording for uh, this build, but basically loaded it up with some U4 TX from Gazoo with a set of just a PPT die sub. Um, I believe it's their gentleman, and they did have the gray gray arrow keys, but I thought that brought a nice pop of color to it. Now, seeing that this one is actually more of an off-white retro white beige light um i don't know there's so many different ways to describe it i decided on a different set of keycaps um which i think will look nice on it but for switches i went ahead and decided on some aqua silvers i think this is a nice different than what i put in here uh, very light linear as opposed to a thaki tactile with a half silence so I think they make for a really nice switch. Um, they have a a light spring with a nice tap, and I think they're gonna they're gonna work real nice with the uh, the keycaps I plan to put on here. So let me go ahead and load up the switches and the keycaps, and I'll be right back. All right, so here we are. I've got both of them loaded up. Uh, this one has Gazoo U4 TXs and uh, Cherry Profile Gentleman keycaps or dark keycaps I, I don't know, I'll have to look at that um, and I used the color arrows it had both the choice of the black on gray or the colored arrows and I thought it was nice to bring it out I was gonna use a different keycap set here um, milk and honey for white but since I saw that it was more of a retro cream light cream uh, beige I decided to go ahead and use XDA Canvas. Uh, these are a die subset uh, that I actually have another set of these. I really like how they sound. I mean, they're XDA, so they're gonna have that nice poppy. The value for this keyboard is phenomenal. It's hands down the best that I've seen. Yes, I'm a little biased. It's TKL and I really love TKLs, but um, I'm not usually like a, super like oh it's got to be super flexy but this is probably the flexiest if not one of the flexiest if not the flexiest aluminum keyboard i've seen i mean and it's full of foam i mean wow <laughs> it's just it's really nice so i did notice while i was putting these uh silver um aqua silvers in that they're stock but there's no ping. There's no ping whatsoever. There's no ping from the case. There's no ping that I can hear from, from the switch. I mean, there's a tiny amount if I take it out in my hand, but in here, it, I know it would sound a little bit better if I lube them, but just to provide an example, I mean, if you want to just take some switches out, I mean, some Akko, um silvers and pop them in, this is what it's going to sound like. So I've got to say, uh, the build quality is phenomenal. I love the lines. I love the weight. Um, 
Obviously, I've been touching it. Um, I, I love the back plate. I I have other keyboards that I've started to use uh, function and uh, the backspace, uh, backslash, function and backslash for print screen because that's really the only other key. I mean, I could bind it somewhere else, but I've just gotten used to binding that, so I'm not missing that, and I, I do prefer to have a knob. I like the badge. I, I definitely like it on the black. And the gold accent is just phenomenal, especially even, I mean, down to the uh, screws. <laughs> they're, they're they're gold as well so for $59 are you serious <laughs> this is just I mean no mods most people they're gonna be completely satisfied me I'm gonna come back because I know I can make it sound better but for what it is i mean i could use this i would not complain i actually i'm probably going to go ahead I, I, I the difficult part now is picking which one because i think they both look really nice now i did have a black and gold that i could have gone with with that but i wanted to do cherry and xda they actually seem to be the most popular um keycap profile so i wanted to be able to get a little bit of tactile a little bit linear a little bit cherry, a little bit XDA. So um, I definitely will be coming back to these because, well, one of these is going on my desk as soon as I'm done because I'm just, I'm really liking it. Just the specs. Today we're taking a look at the WeCav WK870 wired TKL from Keep Monkey. It comes weighing in at 1,860 grams bare bone and around 1,945 grams loaded. The chin sits at 23 millimeters above the typing surface, and the back sits at 34 millimeters, providing for a default typing angle of seven degrees. It is loaded with a PC plate and plate-mounted stabilizers. It is well dampened and also has a knob and accents. It is available for $60 from Keep Monkey and comes in several different colorways. Stock changes colors about every two or three weeks, so if there's a color that you'd like, just keep checking.